Hey everyone, it's Wayne from the CAM team at Autodesk, and today's tip is on HSM keyboard shortcuts. In this setup, I want adaptive clearing after the face operation. Select the operation and alternate down keys to move it down. Then I'll use the alt up arrow to move my drill up to the top. Then I'll copy the drill toolpath using control C and control V to paste it. If you right click on the toolpath tool description, you can see additional keyboard shortcuts. In this case, I'm going to select a new tool to change it to a tap cycle. Again, I'll use the alternate down arrow to make sure my tap cycle occurs after my pre-drill. Use Control A to select all the operations in your current setup. Use Control T to open up the machining time dialog. You can do this on a single operation as well. Use the escape key to close out the dialog box. Let's duplicate these operations by selecting Setup, Control D. Notice our default folder has bolded text. Select our new folder and Shift D will set it as default. Now let's edit our job setup to assign the duplicated toolpath to the additional part in our assembly. Enter key to accept the changes. While our job folder is selected, we can hit Control G to generate the toolpath. Our drill and tap cycles have an orange warning check, so we should view the error log. Highlight the toolpath, use Control L to bring up the message log dialog. This warning is just letting us know that we didn't select any geometry, so I'm gonna get rid of them. I'll just hit Delete key and then Enter. So the same exact keyboard shortcuts will work whether you're using HSM Works, Inventor HSM, or Fusion 360 CAM. You can go to our Autodesk Knowledge Network website to find a list of HSM keyboard shortcuts and a lot more information to keep you programming like a pro in HSM.